everyone is here We got atmosphere We love this place Hey, living different lives But we all unite For this one day And when we all come together Your love is making us better The world will see the truth of who you are No big enough to grow to see yeah we got the key found in your world hey i got a heart to serve and help build your church in jesus name and when we all come together your love is making us better the world will see the truth of who you are no big enough we grow Thank you so much for joining us today for Redeemer Queens Park Kids. My name is Renee and I'm a team member here at Redeemer Queens Park. Now, have you ever been super thirsty? And I mean really, really, really thirsty. One time I went on a trip to a state called Texas and that's in the United States. And it's really hot there, really dry and really hot. I'd been outside in the sun all day and all I could think about was a big glass of cold water. It's all I could think about. And when I finally got that glass of water, oh, it was the best glass of water that I'd ever had. Now we're gonna hear a story today called The Woman at the Well, and we're gonna hear about a type of water that satisfies us forever. Can you think about what type of water that might be? I don't know. Listen closely to the story coming up to find out. Jesus is special water. This story is found in the Bible in a book called John. In this story, we find a character called John the Baptist. John's a really interesting guy who wears strange clothes and eats weird foods. John had been telling people to change how they were living and to follow God again. He was attracting large crowds and many were following him. So much so that the leaders and priests took notice and asked John who he was and what he was doing. John answers them in kind of a strange way saying, I'm just here to tell you to get ready for another man who will come soon. Interesting. Very. 
we skip ahead just a bit and we find Jesus traveling around this land called Judea and teaching people there. Many people were now following him and listening to what he was saying. He was becoming even more famous than John the Baptist. The priests and leaders start to wonder about Jesus now because his crowds are growing. So he decides to leave and heads to another place called Galilee. And to get to Galilee, Jesus would have to travel through an area called Samaria. That's a long walk. Yeah, it was. On the way through Samaria, Jesus gets tired and thirsty. So he stops when he sees a well. Like a drinking fountain? Kind of. It was the place where the villagers would come get clean water. As Jesus rested by the well, a woman from that area came to get some water. So Jesus asked her for a drink. She was surprised that Jesus spoke to her because her people, the Samaritans, were not usually friends with Jesus' people, the Jews. Then Jesus said something very odd. Yeah, he says to the woman, If you knew who I am, you would be asking me for a drink because I have living water. What is that? The woman doesn't understand huh? either. She looks at Jesus and says, You don't even have a bucket. Jesus then continues talking to her and says, Anyone who drinks the water from the well will get thirsty again. But if you drink my water, you won't ever get thirsty and will even live forever. I want some of that water. That's just what the woman said. Then Jesus tells her to go find her husband. But the woman looks down ashamed and says, I don't have a husband. Jesus says, I know. And I know you've messed up many times and done things that you know are wrong. How did he know that? The woman was shocked by this, that a stranger can know so much about her. She said, you must be some kind of prophet. So I'm confused about how my people worship God and how yours do. Jesus responds and says, a time is coming when we can all worship the one true God together. The woman, still a little confused, says, I've heard that the Messiah is coming, and when he comes, he'll explain everything to us. Hmm, what is a Messiah? Well, the Messiah is the promised one. You see, way back at the beginning, God had made the first man and woman, and they lived in a beautiful garden, and the Bible says they lived there together with God. But not anymore. One day, the man and the woman made a wrong choice and decided that their plan was better than God's plan. So they were sent away from the garden and away from God. The people were sad because they can't be with God anymore. And God is sad because the people he created chose to turn their backs on him. But right then, in the middle of all this sadness, God makes them a promise. Really? God promises that even though living away from God would be hard and painful ah. and full of disappointment, one day there would be someone who would be able to fix it all and bring the people back to live with God forever. Oh, the Messiah. Right. And then throughout the generations, God would continue to repeat this promise to the people, from a man called Abraham, to Jacob, and then to David, and then through a number of different prophets, and eventually through John the Baptist. Oh yeah, he was telling everyone about the one who would come soon. Exactly. So the Messiah is this promised one, who would save the world from all the sadness and hurt. And this woman was taught about him by her parents and grandparents. So they are there at the well, and Jesus looks at her and says, I am him. I'm the promised one that you have been waiting for. Jesus is the Messiah. Yes. The woman is so excited. She leaves her water jugs and runs back to the village and tells everyone she sees. What does this story tell us about Jesus? God promised to fix all the brokenness in the world. Jesus is the promised one who comes, and he came for everyone, even those who are from a different family or land or culture, and even those who have done wrong things. Just like the woman in the story. Right, and just like all of us. God loves us so much that even though we are broken and the ones who caused all this pain, he promised to fix it and send us a savior. And then he did, and he was Jesus. The living water was not actual water. It was his way of saying that we could live with him forever. That's some pretty special water.
Hey guys, welcome to Redeemer Kids. Uh, today we are doing a craft for the woman at the well. It is, is it a two-part craft for two different verses? Um, I have the supplies out on the table right here. You're going to need a plate, just a normal plate, a Sharpie or an Expo marker, some water in a water bottle or a tea container, and for the second craft, you'll need some sort of a rope, some stuff to write with, pens, highlighters, crayons, scissors, paper, and some sort of a paper cup. So for starters, we're gonna begin with the verse John 4.10. As you learned in the lesson, Jesus was having a conversation with a woman at the well. And he said to her, Jesus answered her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is saying to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he, he would have given you living water. So for the first craft, I am going to be making living water. So we're gonna take the Expo marker. We're gonna draw a picture of the woman at the well, just the woman. Just like this. Okay. So if you notice from the passage, Jesus said, if you knew who was talking to you, you'd be asking him for living water. I'm gonna be taking this water in this tea kettle and slowly pouring it. You can use a water bottle as well. And the woman is gonna to come to life. Oh, got her hair fell apart a little bit. But she's bouncing around there. Let's get that leg off. Oh, all right. So her head is a little bit busted, but she got her living water. She, she came to life. Kind of blow around a little bit. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that craft right there. For the next one, we're gonna be focusing on John 4.14. We're gonna be making a well with a little cup to draw water with, a string, highlighter, and a pen to draw and, and for color, and some scissors to create holes in the paper. So before we start, I'm gonna read the verse, John 4.14 says, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Wow, isn't that encouraging? Welling up into eternal life. I want that water. I want that gift. So let's go ahead and draw it. So we're jumping in here. First, we're going to start with our well. Draw a well at the bottom of the page. Okay, draw up top, maybe some bricks. Okay, and then after you put your water in the well, this is that living water that bubbles up into eternal life. Jesus was talking about. We're now gonna write the verse at the top of the page. So, Write it with me at the top of your pages, John 4, 14. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him whoever drinks of the water that I will give him We'll never be thirsty again. Okay. 
And you're just going to put a dot, dot, dot. We're going to finish the verse out right there. And that is John 4, 14. Now it's time for the well, for the cup. So got your, got your well, got your verse. Now we're going to include what the woman is drawing water with and the rope. Okay, so the rope is going to run from the bottom of the page to the top. We're just going to attach that cup there. So let's start with making sure the rope and the cup are in sync. So you're going to make a little hole in the cup. It can be a plastic cup like this or another kind. Just be patient with it. Maybe let your parents do this part. A little bit too much right there. Still could work. Basically, what you're going to do is run this up and down the page. So, create a hole in the top of your paper. Just like that. And a hole in the bottom. top right here hole on the bottom we're gonna run this pipeline through there so we got the well we got the the rope now all we need is our cup so I cracked my cup ideally you want to have a hole in it but I'm gonna attach it that way, you can run up and down the rope to get water. So you can get your water at the bottom, and we can run it up. We can hang at the top, and the woman can get her drink. So guys, at the end of this craft, we have our well, we have our container to draw water from, and we have our woman. Um, I hope this was encouraging for you, and feel free to try it at home with the supplies I had here. Y'all have a great day. You're doing a new thing, making my heart sing. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer You're always with me and you're here right now My song, a melody You're a perfect love for me My heart is full of praise Your love, it makes a way And I give you my hallelujah Hallelujah for all my days Jesus, take my hallelujah Hallelujah, I give you praise You're doing a new thing, making my heart sing Bringing color to this brand new day It's never been clearer, you